Okay, welcome back to part two. Okay. Right up. Oh, sorry, not holding it straight. Uh, key concepts. Rado is the rune of the sun, pictured in the Norse imagination as a mighty cartwheel rolling across the sky. So, yet the sun rolling across the sky. Um, upright meaning journeys of all kinds, both the in, sorry, both in the outer world and in the personal inner realm, are pictured when the rune Rado appears. The use of judgment too is indicated with the advised course to act, being act, to be act honourably. Doing, doing the right thing at all times will bring you the respect and admiration of those who matter. It also suggests that the road that you travel along may not always be easy, but the eventual rewards will be worth the trials encountered along the way. Rado can be interpreted as a move forward in some venture. Legal and official affairs of all kinds will be resolved to your satisfaction and promises, oaths and testimonies will work to your benefit. However, it is not a rune about advice. Rado only... Sorry. Rado clearly states that your own judgment will outweigh any other point of view. Okay. The inverted meaning. Disruptions of your plans are inevitable, but that does not mean that you can abandon your long-term intentions. The road that you are travelling on may become rocky at the may be rocky at the moment, but you should not be disheartened. Short-term problems may be pressing, but it is important that you do not lose sight of the big picture. A financial venture or legal dispute may not go the way you want, or may you may purchase something that promises to solve one problem but only creates more, but keep faith. Kunats. Key concepts. Kunaz is a flame of a torch cut from a branch of a pine tree. The torch has other associations too. Oh, sorry. I just skipped a bit. Um, this represents a warm... No, it's warm light, keeps the darkness at bay and allows the sentinel to protect his charges from harm. Okay, so it's all about protection. Well, that um, interpretation is about protection. But the torch also has associations with the symbols, symbolization of learning, and especially the knowledge handed down from generation to generation. Um, as kunas and ken are related to the words kin and kindred. Uh, the symbolization of the flame can additionally be applied to passion, without which further generations would not exist. Okay. The upright meaning. The most obvious meaning of the rune is gaining and passing on of knowledge. However, we should not forget its connection with passion. Um, passion can be interpreted and felt in both a physical and mental state. Um, in its more mundane terms, Kunaz can mean the start of consuming love affair and the spark of a meaningful relationship may, that may teach both parties a thing or two about life. This is one of the most positive runes leading you on a path of new discovery. It is also an indicator of safety because in some mystical, sen mystical sense, you are being watched over as thoroughly as if him, Dal, or the vigilant owl were guarding you from danger. Yeah, the inverted. A 
loss of love, friendship or old loyalties are foretold when Kunaz appears in inverted position. You may also feel yourself to be adrift, abandoned and with little idea of what to do next. However, Kunaz is primarily associated with learning so it is important to remember that some lessons are hard ones. Gibo. Key concepts. Gifts, generosity and help for those who are in need are signified by Gibo. Meaning, when Gibo appears, it is certain that you will feel on a bound to help someone out very soon. However, it is important to judge exactly how much help you should give. After all, if you are too generous, then this needy person may become overly reliant upon you. Okay. Um, Gibo is also the first rune out of the set that has no reverse meaning as it is the same, no matter which way. Okay. Um. One job. Sorry, can't pronounce it properly. Um, key concepts. Perfection, harmony, domestic bliss and happy household, good fortune and trusted friends are denoted by Wanjo. Beauty, fair skin and fine hair are also tra traditionally linked to this room. Okay. The upright meaning. Absolute love, the arrival of good news, an excellent turn of fortune, and establishment of a happy home. All in all, all in all, Wondo represents a fulfilling life, or at the very least, a period when everything will go your way. Partnerships, of course, are of prime importance when this rune appears. Not only relationships of an emotional nature. But those connected with business too. Um. Yeah. The inverted meaning. Trust trust becomes an issue when one joe is inverted. Prospective partners may not be all that they seem, so don't give your heart too readily. In business too, beware of double dealing. And don't take anything for face value. If at all possible, delay making far-reaching ju judgments as you will not have all the facts that you need to make a valid decision. Okay, so that is the eight from the phrase eight. So the first group um, of the Elder Fur Arc. Um, I'm going to stop this video here and start with the new 8, so I shall see you very soon.